to download a 3D mockup using freepeak.com and blast.com or graphicsfamily.com is the same process. You're going to search for the 3D mockup on your search functionality. So we're going to type 3D logo mockup and search for one. And you're going to pick any one of these mockups that you would like to use. So you're going to scroll. The ones with the crowns are premium, meaning you need to be paying for them or the ones without a crown, you can just download for free. So you're going to select a one file that you want and click on download. And then you're going to click on free download that needs attribution. Take note that this mockup has a JPEG and a PSD file. Once the file is downloaded, you can click on open just to view where it is. It's going to sit on my files. You will also pick it up if you go on your phone and you go on my files. It will be a zipped file and you can leave it as that. You don't need to extract it. Your next step is to access www.photopea.com. Please use your browser and not an app. The app crashes and it won't work. And you're gonna get frustrated so either use a safari microsoft edge chrome firefox any of the browsers it will work there once you've landed on your browser you're gonna click on open from computer and then you're gonna select files and on the top section go find the file that was saved on my files and then you're gonna open it from your downloads it would be the zipped file that's saved on there so you don't need to extract it you can just select it a message will pop out at the bottom and you'll click on done it will start loading on the online editor so be patient with the software and it will sometimes take longer to load so don't think it's not working it's working if it crashes just open it again working on a phone is different from working from your laptop it's going to open two tabs from that zipped file. The first tab is your JPEG. The second tab is the PSD file that we're going to be working from. So we're going to click on the layers or the three lines. It's going to open where we can place our design. You're going to double click where it says place your design here. And you double click on the checkered box. And it will open up a, another layer where you can place your design and you click on the eye to hide the designer's example and then you're going to click on layers to hide the layers again you're going to go file and select open and place and go on your files and you're going to look for your 2d transparent background design that you've created either on canva or wherever to load it next you're going to size it and align it on your canvas until you're comfortable and happy then you're going to click on file save as smart object to save it as a smart object once converted click on the middle psd file to access your design and voila your logo converted to 3d looking absolutely gorgeous as easy as that your last step is to export your png file or your jpeg depending on what type of file you want so you're gonna go file export as and you choose the type of file you want to export and then you can reduce the size of your pixelation and then you can save and then it will save on your phone i have to be honest with you depending on the type of mock-up that you've downloaded you might have a lot of crashes depending on how big the design of the mock-up that you've downloaded so it's always best to Make sure that your cookies are cleared on your phone browser. Make sure you don't have a lot of videos and your phone is not full so that it can accept the new files you downloaded. It will perform better if it doesn't have a lot of content on there. Make sure that this, the PSD file you're using is not a big file. So if that one is not working, try another type of file to see if it, there's something wrong with PhotoP or is it your phone? Another option is to use the templates that are already loaded on PhotoP to help along with your design. When all else fails, log a call with PhotoP's help desk. They're available on Discord. Make sure that you speak to them, go to their helpline, find out what's going on. They're very helpful and then you can carry on doing your job. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and I hope to see you for more videos on this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, thank you so much for spending time with me. You can go watch another photo, photo P video 
I will see you on the next video.